Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Microsoft Azure DevOps. Now, this is will be a series of tutorial. This is the first tutorial where we are going to create Microsoft Azure organization. Now, before we get into the practical session, first let us understand what exactly is MS DevOps, that is Microsoft Azure DevOps. So, here is the overview. So Microsoft DevOps is also known and is formerly known as the Microsoft Visual Studio Team Service, that is VSTS. It is basically a collaborative development tool for building, uh, planning, de de developing, testing, and deploying the services on cloud. DevOps comes with two flavor, one is Azure DevOps Service and Azure DevOps Server. Now, DevOps Service offers a cloud-based service, whereas DevOps Server offers an on-prem services for organizations that are very keen on keeping their data and their tools in-house uh, for various security and compliance reasons. Now, basically, when you talk about Azure DevOps, it com compromises of various components, which includes Azure repos, Azure pipelines, Azure boards, Azure test plans, and Azure artifacts. In this slide, we will just walk through at a very high level, what exactly are these components for? So Azure repos are nothing but code repository tool where you can connect your GitHub or you can connect your team foundation version control where it gives you or facilitates the option to collaborate your code and do check in check out. Then we have Azure pipelines. This is nothing but CI CD that is continuous integration and continuous development and deployment. So uh, that is something that we will learn. Okay, and uh, then we have Azure Boards, which is uh, nothing but an agile tool for managing your uh, projects, which includes uh, Kanban, where we can learn about sprints, backlog, and which also covers your epic tra issue and uh, tracking of tasks. Uh, this is a very interesting subject. We will get into uh, in, in details during this in subsequent videos. Then we have Azure test plans where we can track test uh, your defects and you know the QA process etc. And finally we have Azure artifacts where we can manage share packages like NuGet, Marvin and Python. And this ensures a secure and reliable artifact delivery. So these were the key components that we will learn in the subsequent uh, section. But as of now in this practical session we will learn how to create your first step that is how to create Azure DevOps organization. So let's proceed to the portal. So we will get started with logging to our portal. So we click on sign in and here is an account which I've already created. And I'll click on sign in and it'll, for security it will send a code to my email address. I'll enter the security code and log into my dashboard. Click on sign in. And here you can see it is now redirected to our dashboard. Now, before I proceed with creating DevOps organization, please note that in our channel, Digital Tech Joy, there is a playlist that I've already created, which has around 14 to 15 videos on the entire tutorial that covers Microsoft Azure. So if you click on the playlist, you can see how to create a free Azure account. Then, you know, there are tutorials on various setting up of VM and deploying ASP.NET application on Azure portal. Also deploying Azure ASP.NET application with database server, SQL database server on Azure and many other videos that will be really helpful for you in your day-to-day -day, um, work. So here we also have something called setting up SFTP folder for sharing of files and then creating your first Azure SQL Server database from the scratch. Many such useful videos are there already in my channel. I suggest if somebody wants to create a career in cloud computing and want to use Azure as a platform, then please watch all these videos. Coming back to our tutorial, here on our Azure portal, in order to create organization, you search Azure DevOps. So Azure DevOps organization. So here you can see Azure DevOps organization. Click on that and here you'll get a landing page which says that, you know, um, it's just a welcome screen. Here you can see the option, My Azure DevOps Organization. Once you click, it will land you to your 
page now this is all this profile is already logged in with digital tech join at the rate gmail.com here you can see it shows the details on the left hand side and here you can see create new organization now i'm able to see this organization pending for deletion because for tutorial and also exploring of this subject i had created some uh, organization that i've deleted it so it does not delete the organization instantly it keeps it for a couple of days and then it will definitely delete this from this um, account but now for tutorial i'm going to create a new organization so we click on new organization here you can see and uh, get started with azure devops so here it will ask for a unique name so this digital tech join so this is a base url public url dev.azure.com slash and this is an organization name so i'll this organization name i already created but let me say check whether i'll be able to create it because i've already deleted this organization but let me just check so we say and enter the QR code nby by kms and click on continue so it is taking some time to create that organization yes it is successfully created so here you can see digital tech join is organization okay so under day azure devops this is my first organization that i've created digital tech join now it is now this organization does not have any project so it is prompting me to create a project so let me create a project called um, HRMS. So this is a human resource management system. So our entire tutorial during we will be using this project HRMS to explore and learn the key component that I'd explained during my APT section. Okay, so let's create this project. This will be a private mode. So new project has been created. So this is the landing page of the project. You can see HRMS. This is a summary page. And here I discussed about all these ports, um, repos, pipelines, test plan, and artifacts. All these options are there. You can see all the options is available over here. Now, if you see on the top left hand side, this is Azure DevOps. Then we have the organization where my mouse cursor is their digital tech join. Slash, this is the HRMS that project we created. Now I'm going to click on HRMS. A digital tech join and here you can see this is one level down where you can see the organized it shows that you are organized as one project if you want to create multiple projects we can do that on your top right corner this new project so let me add some dem demo project over here demo project so i created one project called azure devops and i click on create so similarly you can create multiple projects i'm sure an organization has multiple projects so here also you can see now this is a summary page of the demo project i'll click on digital tech join now you can see under the digital tech join organization we have two projects so for the entire demo for our tutorials that we are going to create we are going to create a playlist of azure devops and in which this is the first video so where i've shown you how to create organization now we will be always focusing on HRMS project. Okay. Now, if you click on the HRMS project, you'll have on the left hand side these options that we are going to explore in detail. So, first we have a dashboard. So, dashboard contains of all the key components of the project. Right now, your da dashboard is empty, and um, you'll be able to also create add widgets where you can have all these options enabled. We will see all these things in action lead time, you know, a markdown and a burnout chart, burn up, a burn up and burn down, burn down charts, and build history assigned to me, what all tasks assigned to me. So, all these things are there. Now, if this is this is something that we will explore later. Then also, if you see on your summary page, that is HRMS project, you will be able to invite users. Obviously, when you're talking about projects, a project is run by multiple individuals, multiple team members. So each team can have a project manager, it can have a developer, it can have a QA, and so all other stakeholders part of the project. So here you can click on invite and you can add your uh, team members so that they will receive a mail and they will be also part of this project and that will be visible in your in the member section right now we have only one member we will add more members to it when we start into the detailed uh, demo section 
Now, here we have something called dashboard, which I showed. Then we have Wiki. So, Wiki is used for the developer to or, or the team members to manage their documentation. It is a it is a repository. It is a place where you can share the information. It's a common place where you can host the information and, you know, it's a knowledge base uh, as well as it is used for managing the project documentation. Then we have Azure Boards. As I explained, we are going to learn about Azure Boards in details where we can see we will be able to create your epic, your issue and tasks. Here we are going to explore backlog sprints you are going to see kanban boards uh, here you can see the kanban board right in front of us where we can add new items uh, the items that are in progress and the item that is completed this will be a very fun uh, section because where we will understand how to use agile concept and how to uh, use agile for your project execution and these are the tools that will help you enable you to execute the project in an agile manner so we will create a couple of team members and then we will send them work and we'll see how things progress so this is the azure azure boards then we have repos here we are going to create asp.net project and uh, we are going to create a small database driven project for performing crude operation and then we will you know uh, sync up the code over here through github so this is one more interesting activity then obviously there is uh, this pipeline which i told ci cd pipeline we will be creating a first ci cd pipeline and we will see how ci cd actually uh, practically uh, we will see by syncing up the code and you know uh, running the test cases and then obviously we have test plans and artifacts which will be covered in the subsequent section so guys i hope you have understood how to create uh, azure devop organization and uh, i also i am i hope that you understood what does the devop organization contain of which i explained to you in 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 a nutshell and uh, this is the first video now we'll be keep creating playlists and we'll be keep adding videos to it to understand each and every uh, component in detail so guys i hope you like this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, please uh, please share my channel link with your friend uh, family and colleagues and help us to grow our digital tech join channel so that it reaches to maximum of our developer community thank you so much for your time